Hi guys and welcome to today's video in which I'm just going to touch on our first aspect of the report. Remember this is for your phase one working document and this is for uh, the pet across the board from grade 10 through to grade 12. So you all have to create a cover page and this is usually the, the specs when it comes to the cover page. It must have your name and surname, must have or contain the name of your school, the subject name and the pet topic and then a content control for the abstract. So let's go and look at this. Let's make sure we do this correctly. So please remember when you want to insert a um, you know cover page, we're going to go to insert and then we can go to cover page. Now they haven't told us which one they want us to use, which means then you can use any cover page you want to. Okay, I've already selected a cover page. In the previous video, I did show you um, how to do that from scratch. So number one, I now have my cover page. Okay, so I've created that. Looks professional, that's fine. Uh, what else do they want from us? Your name and surname. So there I've typed in John Smith. My cover page has now my name and surname. The name of your school. Here you can see I entered just high school, but you obviously enter uh, the name of your school. Then the subject name and pet topic. So there the subject is cat. Um, and then whatever the pet topic is going to be, you'll type it in over there. Okay, guys, obviously the placement of these things is going to differ from cover page to cover page. The grade is in there as well. They don't necessarily ask you for the grade, but do put that in. Um, you don't have to put in the year because with your due date, um, you are going to put in, you know, whatever that date is going to be. Um, again, it's not a requirement, but it's good just to have it. And then the last one, a lot of people miss out on this, a content control for the abstract. Okay, now, first of all, what is an abstract? Because you don't see anything down here. Um, you just see the teacher's name, your name, you know, the high school, everything like that. And they specifically mention that they want it a, a, as a content control. So when we deal with content controls, we need to go up to the developer tab. There are our content controls and we can just insert um, a rich text content control. Remember, a rich text content control allows us to do formatting to the text, whereas a plain text doesn't have that feature. So I'm just going to go rich text format Sorry, I don't click in the right area and let's pop that in there. So now I can go and click in that area. And I can actually go and type in um, abstract and then just type in whatever I need to. Now, you might be asking, what is an abstract? So let me type this out so that you don't forget this. An abstract is a summary, right? A short summary of uh, your longer work. So in other words, you're going to type in two or three lines um, that's basically going to summarize what I'm going to find in the rest of this document. Okay, um, what you've been asked to research. So like I said, maybe two, three lines. Uh, that is what you will put in there. So once you've done that, you've now got the cover page. Yes. Name and surname. Yes. Name of your school. Yes. Subject name and pet topic and a content control for the abstract. So now you know that is done. 